Hello everyone, this is the Sarah Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the green moon money reading for the Scorpio. Okay, so this is going to be a quick five card spread to look at your finances. If you want a more personalized reading, because this may not resonate with all of you Scorpions, then check out my website. The link is in the video description box. Alright, so um, card number one is going to be your current financial situation or foundation. Um, will money be coming into your life very soon? Any obstacles? I'm sorry, any opportunities that you uh, need to consider more closely? And who or what project will bring in more money <clears throat> as well as the final outcome? I thought about shuffling and doing all this before I start, and I'm thinking about doing that. All right, Scorpion, your first card is the moon card, so there's definitely some treachery or something going on. There's some energies being directed towards you big time for you to get this card as your current financial foundation. The moon card brings the energy of confusion so there's some confusion going on because there's some you're um, a lot more psychic and intuitive than usual so you're getting in a lot of information a lot of energy is coming to you um, if you're if you're waiting on financial decisions that need to be made by others this car can imply that you need to wait longer so this is a not this is not a time to make business decisions based on anything other than absolute concrete facts. So make sure that you're investing wisely. Don't get confused. This is a card of confusion, but if you look at the illustration, it's coming from the moon. It's some sort of trickery. You know, it's some sort of illusion that's being held over you regarding money, Scorpio. And it's, it's really, honestly, to be honest with you, it's, it's lies. It's somebody disillusioning you. So you just want to be careful, okay? Because all money ain't good money. I feel like, Scorpion, you've been kind of sitting on this money opportunity since mid-February. Um, and you just haven't really taken the action, okay? Because you're being careful, okay? And you should be. Um, card number two is will you get money into your life very soon and you did get the page of pentacles yay so you're going to get news about money and it is going to be either good or bad news it depends on your outer land cards um, now the page of pentacles he's a very positive card when it comes to money this is about motivation and using your skill okay to get what you want so the answer is yes to if you'll get money soon scorpio um and it's because you need to use your intellect okay you need to um this is going to bring good tidings this is a message from someone a literal person in your life I um, mean, it may be someone younger than you, okay? Or they might just have that spirit of the page, uh, which is probably a little restless. Um, as far as with your money is concerned, though, um, this could stand for you. Um, this indicates that you've got more stuff to do than what there is time to do it. Like, slow down and narrow it down to what you want to work on, you know, one at a time. So, don't feel, don't get the, if you get the feeling that you're being overwhelmed, then you want to take a step back. So, this points to good old-fashioned hard work for your money, okay? 
You don't want to gamble. You don't want to be unrealistic as in the moon card. You don't want to put investments where they shouldn't be. You need to choose traditional safe investments at this point. Okay. Card number three is um, money opportunities that you may want to consider more closely. And you did get the Queen of Cups. So some of you Scorpions may be taking on some sort of faith-based, spiritual-based practice. Some of you may get a job as a nurse, a therapy, some therapist. Some of you are thinking about going into therapy, you know, therapy, some sort of spiritual counseling. You know, this could stand for a literal person in your life, the Queen of Cups. Um, she's very fulfilled emotionally. So this card is letting you know that um, whatever the whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, um, you you just want to follow your heart because that's what the Queen of Cups does. She follows her follows her heart. So whenever you um, think about this reading. As far as what money opportunities are going to come up, you just want to think um, it's going to have something to do with probably some sort of feminine emotional energy, some sort of service to help others get through some sort of emotional crisis, maybe even a counselor. So card number four is... Um, or what project will bring in more money and you are in suspension you got the hanged man so you're kind of making you're not sure which direction to go and again you need to listen to the queen of cups when she says to follow your heart if you have a gut feeling about something you want to use your intuition but you don't want to be confused you want to take the time out to think about it so this is what the hanged man is telling you okay and, and I can see this you carefully considering what it is. You want to be able to accept your blessings. The hanged man is in, is indicative of someone who is not really open to the blessing. They're not real sure of what direction they're going. And just make sure that you open up those money energies by putting money out in the universe and then you'll get it back your final card is the justice card so I get the sense that there's been some karma karmic stuff that you've been working on and I do see that there was some things that you were going through that were handled with balance and fairness the justice card does indicate that your money is going to be balanced you know, for the last quarter of April. Um, you're going to achieve that balance. This is a major arcana card. So there's definitely some lessons that you are learning when it comes to this card. Um, I can see that if there's some sort of money opportunity for you Scorpios that you may want to oh goodness I'm sleepy so again this is about cause and effect what you put out there is what you get back and you're going to learn that you're going to learn that if you are fair with the world the world is going to be fair with you more than likely also, this indicates work-life balance, okay? Make sure that you're putting in equal energy. Well, not equal, but energy into both, okay? Um, and so, again, this is a good time for games of chance as an outcome. Very often when the card appears in the context of money, it can mean that an unusually fairly small windfall is coming your way. So, don't gamble it all away save it and then you'll get more blessings and i do wish you happiness and abundance thank you so much for watching make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up this video and i'll see you guys later bye